I can't tell you how uh, how wonderful that makes me feel. It happens everywhere I go, but it's still special. Here. Uh, if you all will indulge me, I learned something. Uh, I guess it's early Friday morning that I, I didn't know. Maybe we, Friday, mor Friday morning is when I learned this. I learned that Fox, God love them, is televising this speech on the Fox News Channel, which means. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first ever address to the nation. someone in back taking phone numbers. You know, so. In fact, in fact, I would like to introduce to you uh, my security chief, man who runs all of my security. His name is Joseph Stalin. Joseph, would you please... I am safe. I am safe from any liberal attack in public because they would be afraid of offending Stalin. The opportunity here to address the nation is a serious one. It really is, and I, uh, uh, I want to take it seriously. I want to address something. I know that people are probably watching this who never have listened to my program and may not even really know what conservatism is. They think they do based on how they've been told, the way we've been impugned and maligned and so forth. Uh, one of the things that is totally erroneous about me, and I just want to get this up front, is that I'm pompous, and, and that I am arrogant. Neither of these things are remotely true. I can tell you a joke to illustrate this. Larry King passed away, goes to heaven. He's greeted by St. Peter at the gates. St. Peter says, welcome, Mr. King. It's great to have you here. I want to show you around, give you an idea of what's here. Maybe you can pick a place that you'd like to reside. King says, I just have one question. Is Rush Limbaugh here? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's uh, got a lot of time yet, Mr. King. No 
So St. Peter begins the tour. Larry King sees the various places, and they're just beyond anything we can imagine in terms of beauty. Finally gets to the biggest room of all with this giant throne. And over the throne is a flashing, beautiful, angelic neon sign that says Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> and Larry King looks at St. Peter and says, I thought you said he wasn't here. Says, he's not, he's not. This is God's room. He just thinks he's Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> So you see, I'm not pompous. <laughs> now seriously, for those of you watching on C-SPAN as well and on Fox, uh, I want to tell you who we all are in this room. I want to tell you who conservatives are. We conservatives have not done a good enough job of just laying out basically who we are because we make the mistake of assuming that people know. Well, what they know is largely incorrect based on the way we are portrayed in pop culture, in the drive-by media, uh, by the Democrat Party. Let me tell you who we conservatives are. We love people. When we look out over the United States of America, when we are anywhere, when we see a group of people, such as this or anywhere. We see Americans, we see human beings. We don't see groups, we don't see victims, we don't see people we want to exploit. What we see, what we see is potential. We do not look out across the country and see the average American, the person that makes this country work, we do not see that person with contempt. We don't think that person doesn't have what it takes. We believe that person can be the best he or she wants to be if certain things are just removed from their path, like onerous taxes, regulations, and too much government. want every American to be the best he or she chooses to be. We recognize, we recognize that we are all individuals. We love and revere our founding documents, the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. We believe that the preamble of the Constitution contains an inarguable truth that we are all endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, among them life. Yes. Liberty, freedom. And the pursuit of happiness. Now, those of you watching at home may wonder why this is being applauded. <laughs> we conservatives think all three are under assault. We don't want to tell anybody how to live. It's up to you. If you want to make the best of yourself, feel free. If you want to ruin your life, we'll try to stop and make it because it's, but it's a waste. We look over the country as it is today, we see so much waste, human potential that's been destroyed by 50 years of a welfare state, by a failed war on poverty that has destroyed. We, 